hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm not wearing a bra i'm sorry um but i just got out of the shower and i was thinking i have a lot of like beauty favorites right now so i thought i would make a video just to show you guys my current beauty favorites um it is it's june of 2023 so summer 2023 favorites um yeah i thought i would make a video to show you guys um see if you guys want to try any of them out some of them are like kind of givens but then some of them i feel like i haven't heard of before i tried them so hopefully you'll learn something new in this video some new products to try i love watching these kind of videos and finding new things that other people love so if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below let me know what kind of videos you want to see and if you're back hello and thank you so much for coming back i'm so happy that you're here i'll start with the most basic ones and then do the ones that i haven't heard anyone really talk about further back um so the first one that is my one of my beauty favorites is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter um everyone raves about it everyone loves it everyone uses it so if you haven't hopped on the train yet this is your final sign it's your final sign that you need to try it out um it's literally so perfect for the summer i like more of probably mix it with my foundation i'm kind of sunburned sorry i like to probably mix it with my foundation more in the winter for more of a full coverage look but in the summer this stuff is perfect perfect it's so sheer but still a little bit of coverage evens out your skin tone um but makes you so glowy it's literally so perfect so if you haven't hopped on the train do it just give it a try you can get the travel size for way cheaper than the full size but it is so worth it it's so worth it i have two fair um i did get this in the winter so if I was going to rebuy it right now, I'd definitely go with a darker shade. Um, but that is literally the only thing I can say negatively about it at all. And it's not even its fault. That's my fault. So the next one that I'm going to do is the Fit Me Concealer. I didn't hop on this train for a long time. A long time. Um, until probably a couple months ago. And people have been talking about this product for so long. People love the foundation and people love the concealer. And now I know why. Because I too love the concealer. It's so good, you guys. I will use, the shade is pretty dark. I just got a couple months ago. Um, I will use the e.l.f. camo concealer to do like my under eyes and brighten up anywhere on my face. But this concealer is so good for um dark spots or any blemishes you want to hide it would probably be really good for brightening up your face too if you got it in a lighter shade um this one's just too dark for that so definitely need to try that but it really is just so good it's so blendable doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup it doesn't get cakey i can't say enough good things about it it's just definitely one of my new go-to's for concealers so hop on the train if you haven't tried it this is your sign <laughs> Next, let's talk about this because everybody was raving about this a few years ago. I think it was during COVID that everybody was obsessed with it. So that would have been like three years ago, but now it's back in stock in all the stores because not everyone posts about it anymore, but let's not forget about it, guys. This is so good. I can't tell you the difference that I can notice if I use a body scrub before I shave versus just not using one not to mention it makes you smell so so good this one is the coco colada one so perfect for summer and it's just so good sometimes I feel like with um body scrubs if they're a little bit too harsh it will kind of hurt I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean like it kind of feels like it's like scraping your skin when you are applying it and exfoliating but this one it's gentle but effective it gets all the dead skin off it makes shaving so much smoother and easier and it smells so good so if you have still haven't tried it 
definitely try it or if you did use it when everyone was raving about it and now have forgotten about it here i am to remind you this stuff is so good they have so many different scents too and it's not sold out anymore so everyone go try it if you forgot to try it when it was crazy crazy raved about comes in a pretty big container it's pretty pretty um affordable and it lasts me so long it literally lasts me so long guys i can't even remember when i bought this because it lasts me so long so definitely try it out it's the tree hut brand and i'm gonna link everything down in the description either on amazon or on the website so you guys can go down to the description and click it and get it I went through my clothes, so don't mind that big pile of clothes, but I have to get rid of some, so. <laughs> Those are the ones I feel like I hear people talk about the most, so now we'll move on to some that I don't really hear people talk about that much, so the exciting stuff. This one is kind of a given. Deodorant. I hope everybody is already wearing this every single day because it's kind of a necessity, but specifically old spice fresh um i feel like i feel like men's deodorant works so much better than females deodorant i know a lot of people will argue this now because there's a lot of good female deodorants out there but i can't make the switch i can't i love men's deodorant it just works so much better for me and i bet everyone's bodies are different but um if you feel like men's deodorants just smell too manly or like not feminine enough i get it because that's where i was at too um i didn't want something that smelled like so just m masculine if you like that all power to you but i just want something a little more light and fresh and feminine and girly um but it's really hard to find in men's deodorant something that smells like that <laughs> So this is it. This is the scent that you need. It is, mm, it's the fresh deodorant. I, it is aluminum free now too, so that is amazing. But I use the gel one. I think they have it in the powder. I think they also have it in the powder if you prefer that. I prefer this one because I feel like with powder, you can see it on your armpits a lot more than these. But yeah, if you're looking for something that lasts all day and doesn't fade away when you're sweating or it's hot outside, definitely go with this. You can try all the different scents that you want, but I love this fresh scent. It still smells so clean, but not masculine. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the different cleanser. Um, a lot of people I feel like have heard of the different gel. It's just the spot treatment, but this is the cleanser by the same company and I haven't been using it a super long time, so I can't give you like a long-term review, but I've been using it for like two weeks, I think, and I love it. I was on the Panoxyl train for a really long time, and maybe my skin just got used to it, um, but now I'm on this train, <laughs> and I'm not going to get off. I'm not going to get off. If you haven't tried it and you have acne-prone skin, definitely give it a try um if you're using panoxyl currently definitely try this out and see maybe you'll like it more like i did i really really like it i'll link it down below um i haven't heard anyone raving about this or talking about it so get it while you can before more people figure it out but it i really like it i think it's really good it's benzoyl peroxide five percent my skin has been kind of dry i don't know if it's because of this or because i got sunburned Probably a combination of both. I'm gonna start with one application daily, but I did start with two. So <laughs> that could also be why my skin's drying out. So um, yeah, but definitely give this a shot if you haven't or if you're currently using Panoxyl because I really, really like it. And I didn't know what to expect when I saw it and when I got it and when I started using it. Okay, next, I haven't heard anyone talk about this at all. And mine, oh. Good, I still have a lot. I thought I was running out. <clears throat> um, this is the hair oil and CBD treatment and styling oil. It's by Use Me Hair. I had never heard of this company. I got it in an Ipsy box a long time ago and I've been using it for a long time. So I'm surprised I still have a lot left. 
but that's really good but i put this in after my showers so while my hair is still wet um and i love it it smells so good i put it all the way up to my roots and my hair isn't oily in the morning which is amazing um i bet it would be great if you're like a morning shower and putting it in after your shower then and then styling your hair i think it would be really good for that i'm just a nighttime shower so i'll link them down below and yeah definitely check it out i really really like it, it makes my hair super soft in the morning um yeah and really easy to brush through after my showers and just gives us some moisture some volume you know so okay the next thing also a hair product is the living proof living proof perfect hair day in shower styler um, i just have this little one just has enhances texture and shine for air dried styles i'm definitely an air dryer i never have time to actually do my hair so if you like me check this out it smells amazing amazing and i just put it after i'm done washing my hair i just put it throughout my hair and then gently rinse. I don't rinse it completely out, just run some water through it. Um, that's what the direction said. And then I just air dry it and it gives it a little bit of volume and amazing. I love using these two together. My hair's never smelled so good in my life. Um, so if you're a Living Proof fan and haven't tried this, or if you've never tried Living Proof at all, Here's your sign. It's so good. It's so good. And it's a tiny bottle, but I've had it for probably a month. And I still have quite a bit left in here. So the last thing, but definitely not least, is the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. Um, I heard of First Aid Beauty a long time ago from Kristen Johns. She was one of my favorite YouTubers. Like, I'm not kidding, probably five years ago probably 10 um but then i got this mask probably within the last couple months um and it is so good first aid beauty is just a really good brand they're fragrance free um allergy tested um they have there's all the stuff that you want in skincare first aid beauty has um it's more about like repairing your skin more so than treating so i really love that that theory that um approach to skincare um this says you can use it three times per week it's a five in one i just put it on i feel like my face feels a lot more hydrated um bouncy everything my skin tone i don't know what i'm trying to say Anyways, this mask is really good. If you haven't tried it, tried it. If you haven't checked out First Aid Beauty, check them out. Highly recommend. All of her stuff is super gentle and good for your skin and good for the planet. So, what more could you want? Really? Yeah, love this mask. Um, it's definitely a beauty favorite right now. Especially in the summertime, I feel like I need a lot more added hydration. I feel like people are usually the opposite. In the wintertime, you need a lot of hydration, but... I'm in the sun a lot, and I really like to make sure I'm taking care of my skin, even in the summertime. I say as I have a sunburn. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, check it out. Definitely a favorite right now. I wasn't even planning on this one, but one little added plus is press-ons. Guys, I do not spend money at the nail salon anymore. I don't at all, and I used to spend so much money at the nail salon, and now I do them all myself. There's so many videos on TikTok, so many videos on YouTube to do your nails at home, do acrylics at home, do press-ons at home. So if you're not yet, I don't know what you're doing. 